Attempting to thwart the president's plan to try 9-11 suspects in New York City are getting an assist from some in the president's own party. Correspondent Shannon Bream explains. What we're trying to do is protect the nation within a legal system that's designed to fight wars and not use a legal system designed to prosecute criminals. It's that simple. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham is trying once again to pass legislation that would block government funding for civilian trials for suspected terrorists. But this time he's got bipartisan support for the move. Several Democratic senators are joining calls for the administration to scrap plans to try 9-11 suspects on U.S. soil. But if not, this legislation will ensure that taxpayer dollars will not fund this giant risk to our national security and to the communities where those trials might be held. In his proposed 2011 budget, President Obama has included $73 million for the Justice Department, specifically to fund its efforts to try five 9-11 suspects in U.S. civilian courtrooms. At a time when tensions about budget shortfalls and deficits are growing, this group of senators says that's a monumental waste of taxpayer money. There's a lot of savings to be had by not having these trials anywhere in the United States and keeping them uh, on, in a military court. Uh, I think basically the attorney general got it wrong. He and Republican Senator John Barrasso to, isn't uh, the only to critic. Today, Best former Best Attorney General Best Michael Mukasey expressed and serious and concerns about the administration's vacillation on where to try the terror suspects. It makes it look like amateur night down there. Yes, it makes us look weak. Um, it is weakness. Um, and I, I can't understand the reason for the vacillation. I can't understand the choice to bring it to New York in the first place. Despite that criticism, key administration allies standing firm. Democratic Senator Patrick Leahy says some are, quote, playing politics with the issue, while the Senate's top Democrat is pointing to the successful use of civilian trials in the past. We're going to let this play out. Remember the statistics. The Bush administration prosecuted hundreds of these terrorists. 340 of them are in prison right now. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said today he's in support of this bipartisan legislation aimed at blocking any funding for civilian terror trials, but he also sounded like he may not necessarily think it's got to happen. McConnell is predicting that the administration will, quote, retreat from the idea of holding any of these trials in the U.S. Brett.